So with the Witch Queen coming and a new season, specifically a season of The Risen, which is season 16, it's time to talk about how we power up again. Because we'll have a new raid, we'll have new higher end activities, and you'll want, especially if you're a new returning player or if you're even a regular veteran of De Destiny, you'll want to make sure that you know how to power up as quickly as possible. So first off, a couple of key concepts. Within Destiny, you have a soft cap, a hard cap, and a pinnacle cap. So your soft cap is what you get from just playing the game. Just play the game, get drops, you get to your soft cap. Once you get through the soft cap, you're basically then want to go get through the hard cap. And to get to the hard cap, you're basically going to play what we call powerful rewards. Powerful rewards are scattered all over the game. And you'll see them if you go to the director of different activities. You'll see things denoted with little yellow icons that say powerful rewards. Now, these will change from season to season, so I will put a comment in the description what the latest ones are so you can keep up to date. But in short is primarily from turning in bounties at core activities, from doing things like rank resets on the core activities, playing usually what some of the seasonal activities are, and also some of the older content. So not something that's really, really old, like for instance, some of the older raids, but usually the raids from the previous year are also going to be in there. Once you get through those, then you're going to do your pinnacle activities. Your pinnacle activities, for the most part, are higher end activities. It's your latest raids, your highest end, you know, Grandmaster Nightfalls, playing Nightfalls at certain scoring thresholds, things like that. But you can also get them as a casual player through just going through and playing the core activities a certain amount of time every week. How these are sequenced is for this season is specifically to get to 1500 that's going to get you to your soft cap. And again, you just get that through playing the game. One of the other th concepts to keep in mind is that your power level is determined by a, a few things. So first off, it is the average of all of your highest gear, and that's in the vault, and also on your current character. So it is character specific. So for instance, it will take whatever you have, even if it's not equipped, and what's in your vault, it will average those, and that will tell you what your current power level is. So when you first come into Witch Queen, you're going to be everything in your vault, everything you have on you is going to be increased to 1350. Again, if you just play the game and you average those out over time. So if you get different drops, whether it's weapons or armor, you're going to get up to 1500 by just playing the game. So my recommendation to begin with with Witch Queen is first off, do that. And then also just do the legendary campaign. So one of the things that's really cool in this release is they're going to have a legendary campaign that by the end of it, if you play through on one character and you can do this on th all three characters, you can basically get 15, 20 gear by just playing the game. So I would not do anything else. Obviously, I would make sure you get the artifact as soon as possible because you want to make sure you get that artifact as soon as possible. In fact, that's the first thing you should do in the game. Before you play a legendary campaign, you should go in and do that introductory mission for the season because as you gain XP and as you use the other video that I put in place, you'll be able to get additional power on top of what you currently have. And that's that's free for just playing the game. So then again, play the legendary campaign. There's gonna be opportunities probably within the campaign to exit out and do other activities because typically what happens is they'll require you to play the strike that's with the specific season, right? So you'll need to do those things. Every time you do an activity, you're gonna to continue to level up. So do that, get the 1520 on the first character. And then once you do that, you're actually already going to be above the powerful cap. So because of that, I am gonna recommend a different approach for getting up further. So since you're already at the powerful cap, there's no point in going to your next character quite yet. I would take that main character at that point, you finish, you've probably finished most of the things for the seasonal content. In other words, you're, you have your artifact and you're ready to go with whatever the seasonal activity is. And you'll have finished a legendary campaign. At that point, I will start doing powerful rewards. Then again, once you finish all those powerful rewards, you're basically gonna get be up to something getting closer to the pinnacle cap. Now, one thing to keep in mind, as you're doing your powerful rewards, and even as you're doing a legendary campaign, you wanna do min-maxing where possible. And what do I mean by that? So it's basically your power level is the, is the average of all of your pieces. Well, sometimes you have a gap. So maybe you have most of your armor is at the same level, but maybe you have one that's like five below the other. Well, that's obviously dragging you down. So if you can, use opportunities to get armor that's going to, or weapons that are gonna get you averaged out. You can do that by turning in things like the packages that are at Xur. You can do that by just playing the game, going doing some public events, things like that, hoping for some drops. Again, it depends if you're under the soft or powerful cap, but those are the sort of things you can do. It's kind of like min-maxing. It allows you to average out your character and then 
get as quick as close as you can to that pinnacle cap as quickly as possible. Now at this point, you're probably not to your pinnacle cap, but it doesn't hurt at this point in the first week to go ahead and do all your pinnacles because those again will let you get closer and closer because they're higher level. They will let you get closer and closer to that hard cap, which will allow you to then get into your pinnacles and then get even higher up. Also, while you're doing this, make sure to continue your XP gains. Use some of the other things I did in the other video because that XP power that you have that goes in your seasonal pass is also going to add and again, allow you to get up as quickly as possible and also allow you to get raid ready. At this point, I'm not gonna recommend what I've done in previous seasons. So since you automatically have, basically when you get the 1520 gear from that legendary campaign and then you finish all the powerfuls, you're gonna be, you start at 1500, you need to get to 1550, you're almost at half already. My guess is by the time you do all the powerful drops, you're gonna be two thirds of the way already to your pinnacle cap, right? There is no point, unless you just wanna do it for completionist reasons, to go in and do the legendary campaign on the other characters. What I would do instead, if you want all your characters averaged out, is I would go in, I would transfer your weapons, because that's what you can do to your other characters, and then I would start actually going in and trying to play other activities to get their other pieces of armor, like your second character, up to the soft cap as quickly as possible. Then at that point, because the legendary campaign is probably pretty long, instead of doing your second characters, I would just go jump straight into your powerful rewards. Again, that's gonna get you leveled up as quick as possible. If you have the time of the week, feel free to do legendary campaign first, but most people don't, so that's what I would do next. At that point, you're gonna have a first character that's really pretty highly leveled, like two thirds of the pinnacle cab, and then you're gonna have a second, third character that's probably about the same, depending on, again, you get lucky sometimes with drops, but they are gonna be pretty close to that. And so that's what I would do at that point. And then again, if you're trying to get raid ready, not everyone is, then the next week you can basically do the same thing, right? Because this approach starts in your primary character and because they have that kind of midpoint with the 1520s that they give you, there's no point on doing the activity of starting on your lower character and going all the way up the top because getting those 1520s is actually shortcutting the system a little bit. And that's it guys. Uh, again, pretty simple this season. With the 1520 from the Legendary Campaign, that's actually making this grind a lot easier, but there still are some tips and tricks to go as efficiently as possible because I know a lot of people watching this video have do this in their part time and are trying to get ready for raids or other activities in the first few weeks. And so using this method and just following the rules will allow you to very quickly get up to the level that you want to. That's the video guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump to my discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.